keeping you feeling good and healthy is what our friend at our Bon Secours partners are all about. And we're happy to introduce a new gastroenterologist named Dr. Rodi Faraz. We're excited to have you good here. Good morning. Hey, Doc. Welcome to the show. And before we get into kind of what you do, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I uh, went to school in Boston, Tufts, and then had a practice for 22 years in Oklahoma. Um, our daughter moved to town, so we decided to make the move. It's a very nice town that and you guys And you want to have. see the ocean, right? Yes. You can't, can't, can't see it out there. No. <laughs> yes. Well, you are a gastroenterologist. Tell us exactly what that is. Well, we deal with problems related to the digestive tract from like reflux problems, stomach ulcers, diarrhea, colitis. Uh, I have a specialty in liver diseases and bile duct obstruction problems like pancreatic cancer. And most of the thing that we also do is prevention of cancer, mostly colon mm -hmm. cancer, which is the second deadliest cancer mm -hmm. in the U.S. But it is very curable, isn't it? It is curable yeah, if it's caught early, and we can catch it early before it becomes cancer. But there's some new guidelines now on colonoscopies and when we should start that. Can you tell Correct. us? Correct. The recommendation before this year was start the age of colonoscopy at age 50 but we were finding more cancer at the time of the screening colonoscopy. So the recommendation have dropped to start colonoscopy at 45. And Men and women? Men and women, okay. correct. And I hear the procedure, you know, a lot of times people will be like, oh gosh, we gotta go in for that. I've heard the prep work has gotten a little bit easier well, and more tolerable than correct. it used the, to be. Uh, the preparation can be done in an easy way uh -huh. and sometimes the hard way. Uh, you have to make sure that the patient can tolerate some of the smaller preparations. Some of the smaller preparations have a high salt content that can cause some kidney problem or irregular heartbeat. For some, somebody who has like a congestive heart failure, mm -hmm. kidney failure, they mm -hmm. cannot use the smaller concentrated solution. Really? I'm, I'm thinking maybe since they dropped the age of colonoscopies, uh, sales of Jello have gone up. Because <laughs> Correct. I think and that's one of the hey. things, yeah. You can Gatorade. Eat. Let's talk about when someone would come to see you because sometimes, you know, we'll be like, oh, that's just heartburn. I, you know, may have eaten too much last night or maybe the wrong foods. Because some of that is normal, heartburn, gas, but when does it become an issue? When the symptoms are frequent. If you're having two or three severe episodes of reflux at nighttime, like, mm -hmm. then you should start taking medication, change the diet, and if that does not work, you should consult your doctor within two to three weeks. So with yeah. gastro, uh, sorry, with uh, acid reflux, you actually look uh, in the uh, esophagus too. Correct. We're looking at esophagus what you do. in certain patient population to make sure they don't have any damage. Uh, some patient background predisposed patient to esophageal cancer with, if they have chronic reflux. Do you treat hiatal hernias? Isn't that a problem? Uh, this too? is done surgically, but there is a newer procedure that can be done endoscopically as well to treat reflux. Okay. Wow. See, look at all, it, like, you know, a lot of things that may be wrong with you elsewhere, I feel like it all starts in your gut. Correct. I mean, we have a good bacteria that live in the, inside us that does a lot of function, and it also depends on what you say, what you eat as well sometimes. Oh, so, yeah. you know, what we call lifestyle, diet changes is very important. Do you believe in probiotics at all? Yes. Thank yes. you. help. See, my wife got me started. Okay, good. Sure. See, Ms. Mary's. She's, I take one every morning. Probably. She's she's smart. How else do we know if we have? You know, we're doing we're doing the things. We're doing our regular doctor. We're doing the colonoscopy now at 45. That's sure. the new recommended age. If there's other issues that's going on, how do you know? Well, usually some like alarming symptoms is like bleeding, any bleeding or any acute changes in somebody's bowel habits. So those are usually alarming symptoms. Like a lot of patients have what we call irritable bowel syndrome, have intermittent episodes of either diarrhea or constipation. But a, a healthy person with no bowel problem and suddenly have some blood or pain or some severe bowel changes, this is usually an alarming sign and they should see their doctor. And blood in, the, in your uh, bowels is just a darkened bowel. It's not red blood. Correct. I think people have that confused. Oh. Look at you dropping yeah. the knowledge. Well, thank you very much. Buddy. Jack, <laughs> I mean, I'll never forget when we were in, in elementary school, you know how things like happen, it always sticks with you. One of our good friends, her dad died from an ulcer in her in his stomach. And so from like, you know, third grade, I was convinced that that was gonna happen to everybody. And so anytime I get a stomach, I'm like, it's an ulcer because of what <coughs> happened to our, our sweet friend. Correct, right. ulcer can hurt, but also sometimes also don't have any symptoms at all. They can present with just bleeding. Oh gosh. Mm -hmm. right. So patients who take like a lot of non-steroidal should worry. If you take a non-steroidal on a daily basis, you should take something to protect your stomach, something like Pepsid or Zantac. Awesome. Aspirin, can't go. that, uh, 
exacerbate the problem, taking aspirin? Correct. Okay. There's always a risk with any non-steroidal aspirin one. All the arthritis medication are as well. Oh, okay. So Dr. Farrell, Thank you. you are so knowledgeable. You make it yeah. make sense. He is at Bon Secours. We're so excited. The number right there on your screen along with the website if you think you need to make an appointment. Do we need to have like a reference or anything or referral? Or? You can, but also you can call our office if you need to self-refer. Okay. Very good. Nice Thank to you. meet you, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bon Secours, St. Francis. Yes.